Hey guys, I am in Nepal, in Kathmandu, and I'm in a sacred Hindu temple, and right there is uh, a body being cremated, and so all of the Hindu people are cremated, and there's four different kinds of cremations, and this is what happens along here in the river, and then they take their ashes and they put them into the river. And it's, this is a very sacred place for the Hindu people. And you can see the temples here, I'll show you. And they go upstream and up, up above the bridge, you see over there, they have more cremation for royalty and for dignitaries. Um, but this is, this is the normal people. And then, and as they're mourning, and even down here, the poor people get burned in a, in a you see the tower back there? That's where the poor people get burned. It's a lot less. But you also see down here right here down here below me they're shaving his head and so the son of the person who has passed away then shaves their head and goes into mourning for 13 days and they're not allowed to um, they're not allowed to touch other touch anybody they have to eat uh, only lunches and certain kinds of food um, they have all kinds of restrictions about mourning and then they then they have rituals and they, oh, they can only wear white cotton clothing um, wraps. They can't wear shorts or shirts or pants. Um, man, tons of fascinating stuff. It was, it was incredible. Um, and, and they do it uh, because they believe in reincarnation. They believe in returning their body and their to the elements. And they do it um, as kind of a purification. And they said that the only, the ones who are not, do not need to be cremated, who get buried in the, in the temple over there, um, our children under the age of five are pure. They don't need to be cremated, they get buried. And then they're holy men. Uh, sadhu, I think is what they say. Uh, like, like a monk, they don't have to be, but uh, he says there's very few true sadhus anymore. It's just, you guys, just fascinating. So many wonderful things to, to learn and understand and, and perceive and great life lessons. Great life lessons, such an incredible, experience to be here in Nepal and, and man take take opportunities to learn learn about other religions and people and there's a young man here a college student who's just sharing all this information about it and teaching us and wow wow this is awesome